Alright guys, Boom Texan here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the HK21. Uh, I'm sorry if my voice is a little out of shape, I think I have strep, so yeah. The HK21 is the newest addition to the light machine gun class. It's heavy, it's bulky, and it has 100 rounds that you can shoot off before reloading and 300 total possible rounds that you can shoot. It is belt fed, so that means that you can't just fire willy nilly and expect to reload in a couple of seconds. The reload time takes about four to five seconds by my count, maybe longer. Um, it also has insanely high kick and when you're starting out it has very, very bad iron sights, like terrible. The uh, bullets themselves do a lot of damage and they shoot very fast at 800 bullets per second. It's I think the fastest LMG that's out there, but the price you pay for this is a ridiculously high kick. You're going to need to get some attachments. I recommend any suppressor really, but I prefer the PDS-1 because it sustains a lot of damage. You're also going to need either the stubby or the folding grip. I recommend the folding. In most cases I'd recommend the stubby, but the folding reduces camera recoil significantly. So, And that's really all that you're going to need for this thing. Nobody cares about spread when you can shoot 100 bullets. You can also use something from the other class, but I didn't because I just didn't want to waste too much money. So the one thing that you'll find yourself doing most with this gun is suppressing enemies. That just means they, they can't shoot. They basically run into cover or whatever. And strange as it may seem, you'll get more of those than you actually will kills with this thing. Because it's high rate of inaccuracy and you just about can't see anything. I mean, with the bullets flying willy nilly, you're going to suppress somebody. And it can also wall bang, so I mean... You do have the potential to be that guy who rushes in first and gets everybody out of the building. I would recommend getting a sight before you use this thing, or else it's just going to do horribly. You won't be able to see a thing. Another thing is you're going to have to have an accurate secondary. That's just all there is to it. You may also want to have a long-reaching melee, because, or a melee that you can run fast with or something. Uh, Really, this is very good for cover fire. If you're a team player, you should use this. If you're not, it's quite hard to do much with it. It's one of those guns that you have to really work to get good at. It's not like the M60 where you just pick it up and all of a sudden you're doing great. You're just breezing along. You can do whatever you want. Um, this gun takes serious skill to master, but once you do master it, I mean... I've seen rank 150 people running around with this thing. It's just a beast, and I have a feeling that Phantom Force is going to need to balance it pretty soon before it just gets ridiculous. I mean, look at this. There, Look at that. Look at that. I mean, there was no way that I should have suppressed like six people and killed anybody with that wild spread. But I did because of the high rate of fire, huge magazine, and just wall banging potential. <laughs> you're really going to want to use this on maps with short to medium range areas because, let's face it, you can't use this at long range. You just can't. Unless you're flushing out sniper's nests or something, but that that's a skill that I don't have, and so I don't have many, many f much footage of that. Um, you know, I always have trouble putting these videos out so quick after uh, these guns come in. I know it's big bolster to my channel, and I would really appreciate it if those of you who are watching would like and subscribe. It's difficult to put a video out the first day or two after you record it with all the voice editing and ca video capturing and all that stuff. Um, I, ho I hope that you would like and subscribe this, and please keep with my channel for more Phantom Forces related content. Bye, and thanks for watching.